Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news. This time with week 21 in 2021. <laughs> the newest news about the VR and AR hardware, games, releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Voodoo's VR, Opermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Slim Beats. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Did you have ever hear about Holoride? So this is really cool. Um, so in the back seat of your car, you wear your VR headset, and then according to the behavior of your car, so the speed, curves, and whatever, um, the virtual world behaves the same. So it's synchronized, and that's pretty cool for for children um, that are bored because of a long trip and stuff, just give them a VR headset and that's awesome. So um, you, you will uh, find to some creatures uh, along your trip and have to shoot them or hit them or play with them or whatever. And that happens in virtual reality. Of course, your car has uh, to be um, modded for this uh, so the system has to be implemented into your car uh, audi is doing that uh, for their cars for example and i i think this is absolutely cool that we can uh, experience some stuff in our car so but when you drive like six hours it's getting very boring and with this it's just great i mean it's vr so i really want to try that i hope i can try it some somewhere Lumus Maximus. This is an upcoming augmented reality headset or glasses better. So this is going to have retina resolution, a very high resolution and 50 degrees feet of view. So this is only the prototype unfortunately. There is no uh, um, chip inside that calculates everything. Perhaps we need a cable to your uh, to our smartphone or whatever. But uh, when you compare it with a with a Hololens, look at this. It's crazy, and it's such a huge resolution. Uh, it's much better than um, than the Hololens 2. It has 60 pixel per degree, and that's even more than the new Vive Pro 2. Uh, look at this. This is the small display here and uh, crazy. I, I, I think, I mean, I also have the Enreal Light here and that was also really good. Uh, and uh, this one is, is going to be even better. So as you can see, the technology of augmented reality is getting really better, very fast uh, better. And that's a cool thing. So I think in five years we wear normal glasses and then uh, it's augmented reality. So, so I really love that. I'm looking forward to the Lumus Maximus. So pretty cool news for VR developers. Unreal Engine 5 uh, is available in early access with new features and OpenXR. So OpenXR is really cool. If you don't know that, um, it creates a layer for developers. So for example, um, when, you, when the developer wants you to push the trigger button, then this command is sent to the OpenXR layer and that translates everything automatically to the different headset platforms. So push the trigger button on touch controller, push the trigger button on index controller and that means that the developer don't have to um, do so much effort to bring their games on different platforms. And that's cool. And that's built uh, in into the Unreal Engine 5 now. Uh, in addition, some functionalities for VR locomotion and object interaction, as you can see here. So that's uh, more immersive um, in the games then. And here are the supported headsets. Quest 1 and 2, Quest VR Link, Rift S, Valve Index, Vive and Windows Mixed Reality. And that's cool. Um, the final version of Unreal Engine 5 is released in early 2022 then. Now you can have it in early access. Yeah, and the, the most important topic were the Vive Pro 2 reviews. <laughs> Perhaps you've seen my review on my channel. You can find it in the description below if not. And um, I was not so impressed by the Vive Pro 2, to be honest. There are some things that are really good, like the comfort is really good, the tracking is perfect, and uh, the display itself is also good. But what I 
do not like is first the lenses. I had some very strange appearings like uh, looking through a water bubble. The, the, the uh, picture was moving like in a circle when I moved my head uh, to the side. And also the field of view. I, I don't like the field of view. It looks like you are watching through a, a Kylo Ren helmet like this. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't like this. I mean the, the, field, the horizontal field of view is okay. It's better than with the G2. But the vertical, it feels so strange. I, I cannot get used to that. And this is why I dislike that. The, field of view. Um, it's very important guys. I can only tell it to you again. The values that I measured are my personal values. Okay. Um, many people wondering why the heck has Voodoo uh, a horizontal field of view of 78 with the reverb G2. I mean I cannot change that. I, I can do an uh, uh, what, whatever, uh, I can, cannot change my head. Okay, this is my head. It, this is how I was born <laughs> and I can, just cannot change that. So be very careful. You will get totally different results in the field of view test. Yeah. So this is just my opinion and my values. Please, this is very important. So uh, the next thing is I, uh, I want to give you a clarification uh, of what settings I used in my review. So there was a little bit confusion um, I, why I didn't use uh, some um, native settings. So I, I will tell you which settings I used in which case. So for the through the lens images <coughs> and the picture and the field of view test I used uh, the setting on the Vive console on high. And that means a resolution of 3672 by 1836 at 90 hertz. And SteamVR was on standard settings and that means for me 150%. Okay. Now you would wonder why on earth did he not choose ultra or extreme settings in the Vive console? I can tell you when I choose these settings, the compositor crashes instantly. Yeah. So uh, the picture gets black on, for the uh, Valve uh, for the for the Vive Pro 2, and uh, there's uh, some settings. The compositor crashed. Please restart the Vive console. I tried everything. I tried to deinstall everything. It doesn't work. Okay. There seems to be a bug. I don't know. So the the high settings was the highest thing I could uh, choose for now, and uh, that's that's it. Um, for the benchmark test, you've seen I always choose standard uh, settings uh, in the and the um, in the VR software. So for the Vive console software, I choose the auto setting, and on Steam VR for the benchmarks, I always use 100%. I think this makes sense for comparison reasons, and um, this is this is are the settings. So this is why I cannot use the native. Um, a resolution that's uh, I, I cannot I just it just doesn't work okay when I get the new headset and perhaps they have updated the software I can try it again if you like but for now it doesn't work and uh, my PC is an RTX 3090 with a 10900k CPU so I think it's not the speed of my PC it should be enough there is some other bug so that was just a clarification so Check out my review in the description below. I hope you like it. And if you have some, um, I just want to get better and better all the time. So if you uh, dislike some things of my uh, reviews, then just put some um, information in the description below what I could change, what I can do better or what I missed. That it's always great. <laughs> that would be cool. So yeah, that was the Vive Pro 2 headset. An upcoming VR tabletop game has successfully completed Kickstarter with 285k dollars and it's called Dungeon Full Dive. It's made in Germany in Cologne and um, this is a complete open world um, yeah, tabletop adventure. You can choose everything uh, for yourself. You can set everything for yourself. Look at this. It just looks crazy. You can touch the figures and put them somewhere else. 
and uh, that looks pretty cool. Of course, multiplayer. And they say it will be released in first quarter of 2022. And if you missed the Kickstarter campaign, you can still pre-order it on their page for 30 bucks, 30 dollars or 36, no, 30 euro and 36 dollars, sorry. And um, that's, it looks really cool. I'm totally looking forward to that. Dungeon Full Dive. So there's a new music pack for Beat Saber and it features seven songs um, from, uh, from Lamar, DNA, then Party Rock Anthem, Counting Stars, Don't Cha, Rolling from Limp Bizkit, Sugar and The Sweet Escape, for example. And I think these are well-known songs and I, I totally like how they push this game, how they still bring new content and it's it's just just cool that this VR game is so successful. It's a cool game for beginners and for everybody. And you can buy the single tracks for two dollars per track or ten dollars for the whole pack. And it's available now. <laughs> Let's check out the releases this week. So finally, we can play Raid the Oblivion Afterlife, a VR horror adventure on the PC on Steam. And um, you can have it for 25 bucks. Then memory is illusions. This is a VR looter shooter. We can find weapons, we can upgrade weapons, we can upgrade other stuff. And it looks pretty dark here, to be honest, and pretty brutal. <laughs> then we have train chase. This is a VR a wave shooter. So we are on a train and we have to shoot stuff. Then we have Jetborn Racing. This is a multiplayer air race game. Crazy. Sounds very fast. <laughs> then on the Oculus Quest, we have four VR bowl for Quest 1 and Quest 2. This is a bowling simulation game. Then we have Calf Snowboarding. I already showed that on my channel. It's also for the Quest 1 and Quest 2. And uh, I can totally recommend this. It's a cool snowboard simulation. But it's doesn't have multiplayer, unfortunately. Then on the Oculus Rift PC platform, we have Battle Sister. This is um, a shooter in the Warhammer universe. And then Cloud Breath. This is a meditation app that lasts like 13 minutes. And on the PlayStation VR, we have Gadget here, an awesome puzzle game. I already showed that on my channel. You can play it with the Move controllers and with the DualShock 4 controller. And this is also coming this week, Boxed In. And this is a VR puzzle game. We have to shoot some cubes and match the correct color. I, I will show that on my channel as well. This were the releases this week. Let's check out the sales this week. So on Steam VR, we have Trova Saves the Universe, an adventure 65% off. Then we have The Forest and VR Horror Adventure 55% off. Ultra Wings um, Flight Simulator 50% off. Then Into the Radius, this is a single player survival shooter, 30% off. Then on the Oculus PC platform, we have Project Cars 1, 75% off, Dirt Rally 1, 80% off, Dirt Rally 2, 72% off. Now on the PlayStation Store, there is a huge sale. Nearly all the games are, uh, um, are reduced in price, but I will show you the most reduced game. So Battle Wake, this is a shooter on uh, on the sea, 70% uh, off Astrobot Rescue Mission Jump and Run game, 70% off Sprint Vector, a sports game, 70% off Raw Data, um, Wave Shooter, 75% off Arizona Sunshine, this is a zombie shooter, 70% off, and Robinson the Journey, a cool VR adventure, 75% off. This were the weekly news this week. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!